Hey everyone, it's Dan Lee here. Welcome to our tour and review of Hopeville Pond State Park. This season we're going to get to as many campgrounds as we can and review and tour the park so we can show you what the sites look like, how big they are, if you can fit your big rig in there, and uh, let's get this thing started. Bugs are crazy. All right, let's set up camp and then we'll take a walk. Go check out these hiking trails. Hey, by the way, Hopeville Pond State Park consists of around 540 acres and is located in Griswold, Connecticut. Um, in the 1930s, the federal government purchased a considerable amount of land in eastern Connecticut and established it in 1938 as a campground. Before I forget, I'm D. And I'm Lee. Hey. All right, let's go explore. Oh guys, I was so excited about these turtles. There were turtles everywhere. This little pond across from the tents. More turtles. I couldn't get enough of the turtles. Oh my gosh, is it another turtle? No, Lee, it's a damn beaver. <laughs> anyway, Hopeful Pond has all your basic activities, biking, hiking, boating, camping, fishing, field sports, swimming, and obviously COVID takes presence. Um, so wear your mask, stay six feet away. Don't be a schmuck, huh? The trails are amazing, and so is the fishing. Uh, they've reported northern pike, largemouth bass, smallmouth, catfish, pickerel, yellow perch, bluegill. Let's take a look at these sites. C1 and C2, look at this. They all come with fire pits, picnic tables, they're all underneath a canopy of pine trees, so you're in the shade, um, and you're, you're backed right up against the lake, so you can cast your line right out there and catch one of those bass. Look at CN5. This spot is beautiful, guys. It comes with the grill. Once again, fire pit, picnic table, as every single site at this campground does. Um, so you just stand right here while you're hanging with your buddies, Cast that line, catch a bass, throw it on the grill. Look at this. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, if you love to walk the trails or just be in the woods in general, this definitely is the place for you. It's so peaceful out there and I'm glad Dee made me get up and go because I didn't feel like it, but so glad I did. We got to enjoy like most of the park instead of just our little section. And definitely if you like to kayak, there's tons of launches. Now again, these are just tent sites, but um, the bathrooms are a stone throw away. You can't beat it. Let's take a look at C Street. This is C25 and 27. Very spacious. You can get a small RV in there. Um, and right across the street, look at this. Your own private little sitting area, little oasis. Here's C1 through three. These folks have their tents up but you can also get a, a small RV in here also. Oh, it's you guys! <laughs> Came across one of our little followers. 
Let's go to F Street. This is my second favorite section here. So a couple things to keep in mind of when you um, book your site in the F section. First off, there's one cabin, beautiful cabin. Um, it is a one-way loop, um, but the sites here are very spacious. Um, you can actually fit anything in most of these sites. Look how flat F3 is. Look how spacious it is. 25 footer all day in there. Same here. So on and so forth. Take a look. Now sites 9 and 10 are gregorious um, with bathrooms right between them um, and they actually have hookups. So there's two here with hookups and I think one might be for management, I'm not sure, but they do have power and water. Okay, A Street is amazing. Here's one and three. Really good size. Can definitely fit a 20, 25 footer there. Really flat, level. And as you go down here, look at the canopy of pine trees. And as we spoke of, they all come with tables and fire pits. If you're coming with small children, try to book the C section or C street, C section, ill. Try to book C street <laughs> right behind you. There's the, uh, the restrooms for the kids. Just makes life a lot more convenient. And on the other side, right across the street from the C Street area, you have your own private beach. For you boaters and kayakers, you have a launch right here, right next to Section C. How convenient. further we find this little bridge and boat launch seriously this is like a really nice place to come in the morning I would think and meditate definitely peaceful 100% I think I might just have to do that look how nice Seriously, this place just keeps getting better and better. Oh, and there's another little bridge over there. Last but not least, you have the E section, E Street. We're here at E15. But here's E16 and 14. Right next to us, uh, a group pulled up in at least a 30-footer. Pulled right in so darn easy. Just moved the picnic table out of the way, slid right in, and was set for the weekend. 
These places are huge. All flat and level. Again, the whole park is flat and level. Keep in mind when you come in, the old office is uh, Kaputsky. They've built a new one across the street, 10 times better. Just keep that in mind when you come in. D had us touring the whole place so he can provide some information for everyone, but I'm starving, so time to eat. We've been trying to cook meals that are easy enough for a camper stove and that are still yummy so steak and eggs today but if you have any ideas or suggestions leave them in the comments below we'd love to hear some of your ideas Nighttime seems to be one of our favorite times to unwind and listen to the night sounds that actually change around different parts of Connecticut, believe it or not. And of course, in the morning, the birds too. But I really, really want to have some s'mores every single camping trip. So stay tuned for the slow-mo marshmallow roasting scene. It's really good. I've got D addicted to them too now. So after the marshmallows, we usually like to set up and watch a movie with our projector. And we have a projector screen right next to our bed. So pick a good movie with the doors open as long as the bugs aren't bad. And we get to watch our favorite shows and unwind. So good night, everyone. This is our first video, so more to come. Let us know if there's certain things you want to see. And... um Catch you next time. Good night. Oh wait, before you go, make sure you like and subscribe. But also we're going to be doing a van tour soon. So keep a lookout for that. And our future videos are going to have a lot more of us in action. So Keep watching and we love you guys.